A local woman's addiction to alcohol was so intense she used to consume 14 to 22 drinks a day. She tried every approach to stay sober until she found a legal and safe way to break her craving. Tonight in Cover Story, News Channel 5's Kay Quinn shows us how a prescription drug is changing the lives of many people with different substance abuse problems. Kay? Deanne and Mike, it's called Naltrexone, and it costs on average about three and a half dollars a pill. Most insurance covers it, and the recovering alcoholics I spoke with say it's worth it. This 45-year-old woman begins each day with a pill, a twice-daily dose of a prescription drug called Naltrexone. This is how she used to start the day. I'd have to hold, hold the glass like this and hold the bottle kind of like this, and I would just basically drink throughout the rest of the day. Because of the stigma of addiction, she doesn't want to use her real name and asks to be called Tracy. She's been an alcoholic since she was 15. The last three years of her addiction were the most disabling. The only way I can describe it is it was like my oxygen. I had to have it. The turning point came 14 months ago. Her mother found Assisted Recovery Center of America. Owner Percy Menzies routinely recommends the FDA-approved drug naltrexone along with regular therapy for people with hard-to-treat addiction. Some of them have spent five, six attempts at getting well. And they said, why did you not hear about this program? Why did you not hear about this medication? And that's the question they ask us time and time again. It's almost like a lifesaver. Menzi it's says society disapproves of relying on pills for problems, but he views addiction like a chronic disease similar to diabetes. As long as it works. John Wright says he failed the 12-step approach to treating alcoholism. He turned to naltrexone just as his drinking began to erode his personal and professional life. And I was very lucky because I managed to stay out of most trouble areas legally, medically, uh, financially. As long as you take the medication, we have a 100% success rate. Alcoholics. Psychiatrist Dr. Charles Conway says that is the stumbling block that's kept many in the medical establishment from prescribing naltrexone for large numbers of addicts. Getting them to take a daily dose of the medicine can be a challenge. It is somewhat controversial. I think it has gained uh, general acceptance as a, an add-on treatment. I don't think anyone in the medical profession or, or those in psychiatry in particular uh, would look at it as, as a, you know, a silver bullet or something that's going to cure alcoholism. Dr. Cicero says it works in alcoholics by blocking the effects of endorphins on the body, a so-called Teflon coating for the brain that doesn't allow alcohol and even certain drugs to penetrate and create a high or a craving. If a person were to drink while taking it, they could still get intoxicated but would likely stop after one drink because there's no high. While it helps alcoholics, it's even more effective for people addicted to heroin, morphine, codeine, methadone, Vicodin, Oxycontin, and Demerol, just to name a few. I never, ever, ever would have thought two years ago that I could care so little about something that was so important to me. Tracy says her cravings are gone, and she's convinced oh, naltrexone is the key to her future sobriety. You can still get intoxicated, um, you will still slur, you'll still stumble and do stupid stuff, but you know it's still going to impair me, but it's not going to give me the, the feeling that it did before. I felt so odd when I was on naltrexone and drank that I thought, you know, I don't really care about this anymore. <laughs> now naltrexone has even caught the imagination of the courts. A St. Charles judge recommends it to some people completing programs in drug court. And in Anchorage, Alaska, a judge orders repeat drunken drivers to take naltrexone. So it's but you have to take it every day. Are, are there other drugs that are approved for addiction? There are a handful of other drugs, and some work specifically for people addicted to drugs, and some also address alcohol. People addicted to alcohol, one is antabuse, the one you may have heard of that makes people very sick if they drink. But there are ways to help people out there besides just naltrexone, just a 12-step program. There are some options. People should look around. Okay, thanks a lot.